The latest version of Comfy UI now supports the NVIDIA Cosmos video generation models. Not heard of Cosmos? Well, it's meant to produce synthetic data for training other things, such as robots, and so has pretty decent consistency. Whilst home robotics is still a bit niche even for me, us nerds can generate videos for fun. A couple of other things make this video model extra cool, with the license being one of them. This isn't legal advice, I'm not a lawyer, just some nerd on the internet. Uh, but so far as I can tell, I can use these outputs commercially, and there isn't a restriction for use or display in the UK or EU. Nice. Like it says here, models are commercially usable, you are free to create and distribute derivative models. NVIDIA does not claim ownership to outputs. Of course, there's lots more information there, so do read it fully yourself. That's not the best thing though, because now it's super easy to specify both start and end frames for your video. Why is that so good? Well, for one, it makes it easier to chain videos together, starting where the other one left off. Let's take a look further at this comfy blog post, because this really has all the essential information you'll need before you can get this running at home for free on your own computer. For most users, the 7B models are going to be the ones you download at a slightly hefty 14 gig each. If you've got a 24 gig GPU, it can run without offloading, but don't worry because it will also work on a 12 gig GPU. That's thanks to the automatic Comfy UI weight offloading. There is a new sampler for Cosmos called res underscore multi-step, and you can use that with other models too. It even works with Flux, which is interesting. Here is what they say makes NVIDIA Cosmos a great model. Their VAE is the most compute memory efficient video VAE yet. It's so efficient, they can encode or decode a 1280 by 704 121 frame video on 12 gig of VRAM without any tiling tricks while being very high quality. This makes it a massive 50 times more memory efficient than the Hunyuan video VAE. It's not distilled, so you can use negative prompts, which is interesting in video generation. Uh, image to video works very well and can be controlled by a prompt. The image to video model behaves like an in-painting model, so you can generate from the first frame or generate a video which interpolates between two images. This model will always make a video with movement if you generate the required 121 frames. Do take a look at NVIDIA's YouTube video about Cosmos as well, and you'll see they tried to do various interesting things, such as with physics. Like if you give it an image showing an unstable object stack, it should be able to predict it will fall over, or a ball on a slope should roll down rather than going up. It is still an early model and there are downsides as well. It really likes 121 frames and starts breaking if you generate less or more. The lowest resolution is 704 by 704. Long prompts are required and the model will not follow the prompt if it's just too short. Also, it's quite slow, taking over 10 minutes to generate 1280 by 704 121 frame video on a 4090. On my 3090, I could do 704 by 704 in around seven minutes, which wasn't too bad for testing. I did try with other resolutions, such as 720 by 720, but they didn't quite seem to generate as well. Uh, see on this example how it's artifacting in a sort of, this isn't a supported resolution kind of way. The blog has a bunch of examples, so be sure to check those out. But my very favorite bit uh, is actually the last couple of lines down here. For another piece of confusing marketing, make sure to check out our two-year anniversary post where we compare Comfy UI to an operating system. Well, I thought it was funny anyway. Like they say in the blog, head on over to the Comfy Examples page for workflows, links to the models you need, and instructions on where to save those files. Given it's really easy to follow, I won't waste your time with those basic details, but if you're new, then don't forget, you can just drag the workflow image straight into Comfy UI. Another option is to save and then load the workflow using open from the menus. I, of course, have colored things in because I love colors. And I've also integrated the text to video with the image to video option as well into a single workflow because that's a little bit easier. Anyway, if you're new to Comfy UI, 
Then you can look at the little name tags at the top there, and that will tell you which custom node pack they came from with a little fox icon instead indicating it is built in. So here I've just used the comfy roll latent input switch, and I've also switched out the video generation at the end for the video combine node. Nothing out of the ordinary here with your typical model loading prompt case sampler and video output. Now I'm starting here with the video to world model uh, just because I think that one is the most fun. The prompt is pretty basic here though the results turned out all right in the end. Anyway it prefers long detail prompts so certainly something worth experimenting with. This was pretty much my first test with Cosmos image to video because um, I like being mean to AIs from the get-go. I mean, this is meant to be for training robots, so how is it going to handle a rodent holding a tiny cardboard sign? Being that this is image to video, of course, I'm providing it with an image to help. And there, I've got a little tiny rodent holding a sign. Now, this is a pretty nasty test, obviously, because it's got text in there. So is that going to go really weird? And a rodent? Well, how do rodents move? Pretty well, as it happens, not only does it have rodent-like movement, but I can read the sign too. Not bad, eh? His little rodent chops are even going at it too. Oh! You might have noticed you can also specify an end image too. How well does it handle interpolations? Well, let's take a look. This time I've got both a start and an end image. They're similar, but um, yes, good luck interpolating between those two and making any kind of sense. Still, making sense isn't what I'm looking for because I'm also wondering how artistic it can be. There aren't any real-world Cthulhus, unlike rodents and signs. Uh, it also isn't a sort of realistic style because they're AI-generated images. For the prompt, I've described the scene, but also added things like a blue sky with clouds. Um, how do you think that's going to turn out? If you guessed it would look a bit weird, then well done, because it does. Uh, not really sure what's going on there myself, but it's certainly very inventive with the ceiling. Has it got the blue sky with clouds? Not so much. So it seems to have gone more with the image over the prompt. However, what if we chained up more than one image after the other? Um, well, let's see what that looks like too. For the animation you can see on the screen at the moment, I used three different images to create this looping animation. As you can see, it goes round and round. And because we're able to provide both the start and the end, the transitions are all very smooth. So three videos in one here. Now let's take a look at the workflow. The first video generates as we've seen with a start and an end image. The second video does much the same, only this time the start image is the same as the end image of the first video. Same again at the end with the third image which loops back to the first one. I haven't been as mean this time as at least I'm keeping the sign holding rodent in each scene and I think it did pretty well. If you zoom in here, you can also see I did change the prompt a little bit. So there I'm describing the background and the papers. And over on this prompt, I'm saying, OK, yeah, he's actually holding a sign, which is fairly plain. As mentioned, Cosmos does like longer prompts. So what if I enlist the help of a Vision LLM? I've done just that in this example, where I'm asking a local Olama Vision Model API to expand my prompt. I've done videos on installing Olama locally and using LLMs in Comfy UI before, so do check out the links in the video description for more information. Uh, there's a few options for using local LLMs, such as LLM Party, or this one I've used here, which is Comfy UI Olama. This one I liked because of the Keep Alive setting in this Olama connectivity node. This is handy because if you can set it to zero minutes, then it will run through the prompt and then unload the model straight away, leaving all your precious VRAM for Cosmos. I've added a couple of text output boxes because text output tends to get wiped out when you load it in later. Uh, I am still looking for one which works reliably, so um, any ideas, <laughs> do let me know. Um, but for now, it's there, and as you can see, it is a much longer prompt. The description is of a whimsical scene with a small rodent and some shocking news on the TV. Magical spellcasting, aliens, enchantment, and all sorts of fanciful language I really wouldn't expect to be in the model. You know, just a standard test. As for the input image, you might have seen this little guy before. So how well do you think it will do with this one? 
Well, if you guessed he'd go sort of super cyan, then congratulations on being right. Personally, I think it's absolutely hilarious, but that's just me once again. Um, it isn't all image to video though, as there is also a text to video model as well. Same workflow then, just a different model. So as you can see here, I'm using the text to world one instead. Now I was wondering, does it know anything at all about, well, Cthulhu? So there, a comic art style view through a window of a Cthulhu-like London. The scene is looking through the window of the majestic city. Um, and there's all sorts of other details in there. Um, some wood, the, the wiggles and the tentacles of Cthulhu and well, how How is that going to turn out? Cthulhu free, it seems, but nevertheless, um, that's not a real life thing, is it? That's definitely a comic art style. It's got the wood. It's sort of tentacling a little bit. Um, I do like the smooth animation, the way that wood is just going down. So I think some potential there, maybe try some parallax scrolling, all sorts of different things to try. So even though it's made for training robots, it looks like this model may have a little more than that to offer. I've had lots of fun trying out all sorts of things, and hopefully you do too. Ooh, nerdy rodent. He really makes my day. Showing us AI in a really British way.